First, who brought this? I always bring large pieces of meat. <laughs> like, you know, I don't know. Is this for the whole audience? Sure, yeah, we can all There's have some. It's there. Easter, it's about sharing. It's not going to fit in the oven. It's about families, right? <laughs> We're going to make a uh, porchetta Sudbury style. Sudbury style. <laughs> Sudbury style. Yes. So what does that Just mean for okay. Sudbury no, style? No, no, listen. There's this place in Sudbury, and they do porchetta bingo. So instead of winning money, you yeah. win a pound of porchetta. No way. What? True story. We want to go there. This place is packed. Where is it's this all place? for charity. This is and genius. once in a while, we do it at the pizza joint. So we bought the porchetta from Sudbury. Okay. Yeah. And the seasoning <laughs> is what it's all about. So, in, Jason, you want to just score this for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, I Ricardo, it's all game, about this seasoning, right? Chocolate. So it's it's over here. Ricardo, just put okay. that in the pestle mortar. I got so some chili are, peppers. Chili. Some fennel. Okay. Yeah. Some black pepper. And I put two chilies in there because I think that's kind of fun. Good, too. No, right. no, don't touch nope. the skin. Don't touch the skin. Oh. So, this is all about the crispy skin. Yeah. All right. That's good. So now, what we're going to start with is the secret ingredients in a Sudbury style porchetta. Lemon zest. Lemon okay. zest. Right. Genius. Some garlic. A little bit of garlic, but chopped, chunky, that big, chunky rustic, garlic. rock and roll garlic. I mean, the guy played a lot of bingo. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get so upset when you don't win. You got to go with a hot dog or something. You know? <laughs> it's like crazy. All right, you can we throw starving. that in? Yep. Check this out. Oh, yeah. So that's, okay. how much heat are we talking about here? There might a be a, heat? Yeah, there's a bit of heat in there, because those right. are the homemade chilies, right? Mm. So then what I we do. I can smell the heat. This is about a five pound uh, pork belly. Yeah. yeah. And the secret is to get that shatteringly crisp skin, is you got to air dry it in your fridge for two days. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Right? This takes some planning. This takes some planning, and then you have to bring it out to room temperature, because yeah. this is really important when we get to the cooking of it. Okay. We get a tenderloin. So ask your butcher basically to cut you a pork belly the same length as a tenderloin. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is this next secret to make this thing super crispy. You ready for this? Is that salt? Wow, this board's going to taste fantastic. Isn't that going to be nice? <laughs> Season it up. Do hey, don't worry. It's a bit tough. Man. Later on in the show, we'll talk about health and food. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do health. And rub it in. Oh, rub yeah. it in, Jake. Rub oh, that so in. So it's a nice little salt right? rub. Because it's so good when the outside is really crispy. It's eh? really crispy. Yeah. And even if you excess the salt, it'll always come off after when you bake it. But you want it to be super dry so before be you do this? Super dry. It has to be drier than like a bag of sand in a popcorn machine. Okay. <laughs> like that's how dry well, you want. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. he now, the <laughs> next yeah. secret is dill. I would like to have wild dill. I couldn't get my hands on it, so this is like the fresh stuff it'll do. It's a little okay. crazy. It's a little crazy, but trust me, this is all going to work out. <laughs> wild, but it's a little crazy. You ready? Yeah. I mean, yeah. We're in you want to roll it? Am I going to do it? Do it? Let's do it up. Oh, you're actually going to roll, roll it as that. tight as possible. All now, right. a lot of people will tell oh, you to score yeah. the skin, but I don't yeah. really believe in that because I think the moisture will come through and it'll weaken the skin and it'll make it like not as crispy. Okay. Tie it up as tight as you can. And you don't uh, even I'm have to remove up. a part of the fat. Nothing. Nothing. You leave you, it as this is. is the simplest thing in the world. Okay, so you want all that fat to stay. You want it to be super dry. I'm just going through yeah, the rules yeah, yeah. here. Super salty. And you tie it up and super salty. Are you ready for this though? Yeah. Here's the math. Six minutes per pound. Okay. So this is six pounds. It's 36 minutes at yeah. 500 degrees. Oh. Make sure your oven is clean or you yes. have a smoky house. Right. If you have a dirty oven, just open your windows. <laughs> Not okay, let the fire right. department show up. Look at Jay going. Oh yeah. Okay. It's like Christmas presents. Well, this Look, is kind of a, this is a, a lesson right there, Jason. It is. Like, how or, are you doing that? I want you wrapping my gifts this Christmas. Oh, you, you, I tried to wrap Christmas presents like this, but my wife got a little upset. Or if you want, <laughs> I, it's a butcher tie. It's very but you cool. could also take some pieces of rope and, and put them underneath it and, and tie them up. And just do one at a time. Yes, yes. one at a time. time if right. Make it look easier. Yeah. Well, for That's us video fights out there, right? That's right. Right. Oh, oh, easier. That's very complicated. But he's fancy. He's Basically, fancy. what we do is this next secret is put it on a rack okay. in a baking tray because what's going to happen is the moisture is going to come yeah. off it and it's going to go down below anyway. You really need that dry area. Right. So are we ready for the reveal? All right, well, it depends. Chef, are you done with your project? Well, I need about uh, an hour and a half to cook it and then another two hours to rest it. So just come back and, you know. So basically, when Jason's Fine. done this in about another two hours, we go to the oven. Remember, 500 degrees for 36 minutes. Shut your oven off. Walk away for two hours. Don't open the door. Don't do anything. You can Even keep at 500 turn the light degrees. on. Don't open the door. Go away. Just, walk, just away. walk away. Two hours later, you come walking up and you're like, hey, how's everyone doing? Everyone ready for dinner? <laughs> right? And your house is a this? smoky. Oh. Oh, my. wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. Listen, listen, do it. Wait, wait. If, I get, if I get my mic up there, it's like. Oh. Yeah. That's good. So stuff. it's so crispy that you actually need a serrated knife. 
Yeah. You ready? Oh, oh that's oh. good. Oh my God. What? Such good stuff Is there, Randy. Oh. <laughs> I might get a key to the city for a Sudbury Saturday night. Uh, <laughs> oh, my stars. That is beautiful. This is looking Sweet good. Thing. Now, you've added a side with it uh, for for our uh, for our recipe right now. What did you add on the side there? So, I just got some roasted uh, carrots and parsnips and some potatoes. Can, and, can we try it right now? <laughs> don't threaten me with a good time. Can we get a shot of the proper thing before you yes. eat it all? Yes, Would don't you? worry. There's oh. always a little. Oops. Oh, my okay. God. Okay, he's eating it. What, you just for what yourself? You no, I'm going to go Wow. Oh, my God. Just for him. <laughs> just for him. Mm. Cityline.ca oh. for the recipe so mm. you can try it as well. Oh. Do it at home. Try it. And you know what? We love it when you show us when you do recipes at home. Put it on Twitter and uh, and, and tag us in, CityLineCA.